This is the book, I Am Cow, Hear Me Moo, written by Jill S. Baum and Gus Gordon. Nadine was a truly remarkable cow. There was nothing she feared, so she claimed anyhow. Not lightning, asked Starla, loud noises, a rat? I'm not scared, Nadine boasted of any of that. The woods, asked Annette, cause that place scares me stiff. Not me, bragged Nadine with a proud little sniff. As a matter of fact, just to prove it, let's go. She was certain her meek hearted friends would say no. Two minutes later, well move it, Nadine. Starla gave her a nudge. Lead on, urged Annette. Still Nadine didn't budge. She blinked at the woods, overgrown, dark as night. Were there creatures in there and did they bite? Her milk nearly curdled, doubt prickled her skin. But what choice did she have? Nadine gulped and stepped in. Three hours later, just a smidge or two higher, Nadine told her pals, which was asking a lot of such willowy gals. She peeked at the eggs. Have they hatched? Gasped Annette. Are they birdies? Wheezed Starla. Nadine called. Not yet. She was loving the woods. She could not get enough of exploring its trails and discovering stuff. Like the taste of a blackberry. Yum, who'd have guessed. The scent of a pine cone. Wee paw prints. This nest, even better. She'd proven her brag to be true. There was nothing she feared. I am cow, hear me moo. Can we go now, Nadine? Annette hollered, it's late. We won't ever get back to the farm at this rate. Yes, do hurry, said Starla, the sun's going down. She couldn't stop nervously glancing around. We can't see in the dark, we could fall off a cliff. Nadine sighed, oh, all right. She was down in a jiff. They sashayed for home, slow and steady until Nadine spotted a cave in the side of a hill. Look at that, do you think it's some kind of a den? Who cares, said Annette, we're not stopping again. Nadine split, Starla bellowed, come back here, Nadine. But Nadine answered, can't, some things have to be seen. She took her sweet time, checking out every nook. This cranny, that corner, Nadine had to look. Her tour of the cave den was almost complete when a small pile of bones made her heart skip a beat. Five seconds later, ta-da, Nadine sang, here I am girls, let's go. Were her friends waiting there where she'd left them? Uh, no. She took a step left. Wait, was home to the right? How on earth could a place look so different at night? Something rustled nearby, a strange breeze stirred the air, crickets chirped, an owl hooted, she whispered, who's there? Then that cave crossed her mind, plus a hair-raising thought. Are there bears in these woods? She got goosebumps a lot. Spooky shadows reached out. A sharp snap made her jump. Nadine gulped, which is when something tickled her rump. Like a rocket, she shot over brambles and bumps, galloped over deadfalls and rotted out stumps. She thundered through thickets, deep gullies, tight squeezes, and ragweed that triggered spectacular sneezes. She worried, the bear's gonna get me, as if. She kept galloping, galloping right off a cliff. She crawled from the creek, picking moss from her teeth and a tadpole or two that had swum underneath. Just in time to hear Starless, Nadine, is that you? It is, look, Annette, Nadine's found us, moo hoo. The friends danced a jig, We've been lost half the night. Oh, Nadine, you're our hero. They hugged her so tight. A hero? Egad, Nadine knew she was not, and she wanted to say so, but sort of forgot. When at last they found home, Nadine flumped through the door, then collapsed to her brisket and kissed the barn floor. Seven hours later, she opened her eyes, saw a sign, brave Nadine, saw balloons and a cake made of hay in between. Three cheers for Nadine, someone hollered, uh-oh. Did she tell them she wasn't a hero? Uh, no. She was scared of the woods, but so what? She could smile because nobody knew it, at least for a while.